Connie Burton, a Texas Tea Party state senator, has proposed a bill that would effectively say that it is okay for parents to find out the sexual orientation um, or uh, gender expression um, or identity of their child without the consent of their child. Let me break down a little bit more about what is going on in Senate Bill 242. So according to Logo, Burden has just filed Senate Bill 242, which mandates disciplinary action against any school employee who does not disclose the sexual and or gender identity of students to their parents. She was moved to draft this bill after her hometown of Fort Worth modified school guidelines to further protect, protect transgender students. Faculty would no longer be permitted to reveal a student's gender identity to their parents without their explicit permission. Now, to justify this, she says, quote, my legislation will make it expressly against state law for a district to add policies designed to undermine a parent's right to know. No parent in Texas should ever have to fight for a basic right to matter in their child's life again. Now, something I do want to point out is that also in this uh, sort of open letter that she said, she says that a parent has a right to a full and total information on their child's academic performance, uh, physical, mental, emotional health, and more. So, as a huge gay person, um, I do not like mental and emotional and physical health being a part of that equation. I totally am for, like when I was looking at physical, I'm wanting like if this kid is healthy, if the teachers are notici noticing that maybe they're using, or I don't know, maybe they're, they Not have an eating enough. disorder or yeah. something, you know, going on with their, with their health, um, or if they're struggling with friendships or whatnot, or their academic performance is suffering. I'm all for that. But that is not what your sec what sexuality is. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? And I feel Absolutely. like that's something that more and more I'm having to sort of justify that sexuality and gender identity are different things. Like you can be, you know, a transgender lesbian and like that's, you could also be a transgender straight person. Like it's not the same. And I don't like how it's getting very convoluted in actual state legislature. Yeah. Like that's not okay. You, sh you need to know the language before you can be proposing bills. And I, it makes I'm me really worried. I'm going to guess with a K, Burton. Uh, She's not familiar it with just, it. My heart goes yeah. out to these, you know, the LGBTQ kids in Texas now because as if, again, I think you make a great point, as if it wasn't hard enough to come out. And yeah. I know that I live in a wonderful bubble. I live in West Hollywood. Uh, being super gay is not a problem for me um, aside from, you know, just... Is there share. a difference between gay and super gay? No, but <laughs> I'm super gay, though. Like, that's the difference, is that, look, this... When I say super gay, I mean that sometimes I've come into the office and shared an outfit with Hassan. That's super gay. Like, that's a new level. Um, so I, I, I do want to get a reaction from you guys, but I, I will say I, I condemn this so hard. Yeah. And it just... My bleed emotional lesbian heart for those baby gays and uh, the LGBTQ community in Texas. I, I, I really hope that they can rally together and uh, implement some action against this legislation. So I, I completely want to be as open as I can with my thoughts on this and I want you to just tell me if I'm if I'm off base with what I'm assuming I'm is the role of the parent here. <laughs> not, not to trigger you, I, I, I completely condemn this. Should I go um, to my safe space? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, I want to condemn this because I think it's so awful that um, for one, right, I, I feel that if you are a parent and you haven't cultivated a relationship with your child to let them know that you love them no matter what, then you should, if you haven't done that and they go forward and they express something that is of concern to them or they want to express um, their sexuality to a teacher and they don't run that through you, then I feel that that is just because you haven't maybe made them, made them feel that they can be as comfortable coming to you with anything. And therefore, that trust between the teacher and student is sacred. And I think it's so valuable. I, I, there's so many teachers in my life that have made such a huge impact to me. And I used to tell them things that I wouldn't tell my parents. Not because I didn't trust my parents, just because I felt that it's level of trust. Yeah, it's a different relationship. But I feel like when it comes to sexuality, and I may be off again, I feel like your parents should be one of the first people you should be going and speaking to if you feel so comfortable with them. So I feel that in this situation, she's making it seem, this legislator is making it seem like, oh, the parents are the really ones. They're being hard done by because mm -hmm. this yeah, kid yeah. isn't so, going back and telling them. They, they should be told because this is, this is on them to fix it. No, it's not. If, you, if this child feels that he, can, mm -hmm. he or she cannot go to his parents, his or her parents, and feel like they can be comfortable telling them this, then there's something, maybe there's something that's not right there for them and they don't feel as comfortable. So I think, as you mentioned, it's already very hard in this climate, a lot harder than it really should be. That's what breaks my heart, as we've made so much strides uh, as a society, but 
Unfortunately, with the current epidemic that's going on with orange skin and, and a horrible hairdo, people are going to feel like they could have this sort of this sort of view to push us back and be like, nah, see, that's, this is a problem. We don't want this. So we want the, the parents to be told that they can try and fix this and the kid can't come forward and feel comfortable saying this to whoever they trust. Why, why Connie Burton is uh, 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 just way off base here is that this bill is designed to help the parent. Yeah. And any sane person knows that if you're going to legislate this in some way, and I, uh, which you certainly don't need to, but the person you should be looking out for, the person who is at risk of hurting themselves, the person who is at risk at the bare minimum of mentally torturing themselves, and God forbid they don't do something worse, is a student struggling with when to come out, whether to come out, if they're gay, if they aren't gay, what their gender identity is. And there is no effort in this to help the student. And obviously, it does not assist a student struggling to mandate that a teacher tell their parent. That's it. Only thing you should be sponsoring here is, if you're going to have a bill, is uh, let's make sure at every school there is a counselor equipped to, hender, to handle sexuality and gender issues so that a student has an ability to go to you and talk to you about yeah, it. That would be, but, but the idea that the victim here is the poor parent and I don't mean to suggest that a gay student is the victim, but the person who might need assistance is a 13 or 14 year old or 12 year old kid yeah, the person, who doesn't know who to go to. The right? person that is searching, the person that is confused, that is looking for a community and for like a, a safe right. place, um, is being targeted here. And I, th I think I agree with everything that you said. I think that schools should be equipped with guidance counselors that are familiar with uh, kids that might be struggling to come out. And again, I think it's also important that there's no there's no rush or urgency or right way to come out. And that's why I right. hate this as well. Yes. Um, and, and I would just also say it'd be different if we lived in a world where kids were not getting thrown out of their houses for mm. coming out as gay or trans or um, any- How does this help the but kid? It doesn't help them at all. And a, a threat of violence, I mean, it's just, if we lived in a world where that didn't exist and where that wasn't persistent, then maybe we would feel differently about this. But unfortunately, that does exist. The whole two-hour podcast of the Young Turks, commercial-free. You're going to get it. If you become a member, tytnetwork.com slash join.